Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakakadash, the one say Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, sister. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Uh, just a real quick hit, because uh, I'm out and about. I'm still at the job at the plantation. But um, the subject that these Edomites keep mentioning is uh, these tariffs that Trump has um, imposed on uh, the goods coming from China. If you know anything about goods coming from China, we get a lot of stuff from China. And this is all, of course, prophecy leading up to it. Uh, I'm just going to take this particular passage out of Je Zephaniah, Zephaniah 1 and 2. It says, I will utterly consume all things from off the land. This is after the word of the Lord came unto Zephaniah, of course. Say after the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stomach blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off and I will cut off man from off the land. And uh, that's, that's part of that is going on now. You got down in Florida, Carolina, you got all the destruction going on. I said, verse 4, I said, I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place in the name of Chemerims with the priests. And with that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops and them that worship and that swear by the Lord and that swear by Malcolm and them that are turned back from the Lord and those that have not sought the Lord nor inquired for him. Hey, so at a certain point, at a certain point, and we always uh, mention this, like it says, and them that are, t are, are turned back from the Lord and those that have not sought by the Lord, sought the Lord nor inquired for him. So at a certain point, uh, you know, the men, you got men of the Lord all over, all over the world, going out in the highways and byways, our people see us, they flick their hand at us, they, they make a rude comment, and they don't even, you know, find out what we're saying. They don't do any research. And uh, that's why that's why everything is so serious, because at a certain point, these people are going to have to be held responsible for the different actions and the different choices they, they've made. And it's not going to be under men, but it's going to be under the Most High. You know, it's going to be under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, just like uh, in the movies in Hollywood, the, the, that's the new theme. Um, dissension in the city, martial law in the city, urban warfare, all these different things. Call of Duty, all these different uh, urban warfare movies. Because uh, basically they know, they know exactly what's about to happen. They know that we're close to that. And uh, if you bring that up to Esau, they'll get real quiet. But this is verse 7. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Most High, for the day of, of the Lord is at hand, for the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guests. Those guests are, are supposed to be us. Uh, we're supposed to be your, the scriptures also mentions us as the bridegrooms. And it shall come to pass in that day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with a strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. Yeah, a lot of these wicked ass pastors, they're gonna get done away with too. Or a lot of a lot of wicked ass Israelites too, people who know they're Israelites, but they're wicked. Okay, because you put you you added deceit to the word of the Lord. You didn't uh, make your call in an election short. You didn't uh, you didn't you know even if you were taught by someone outside of somebody from one west, <clears throat> they're still supposed to be studious enough because you're. This is not just the word of men. This is the words of the Lord. So you're supposed to double check and make sure everything you're saying is on point. And a lot of our, our people are just not doing that. Lying to the people, telling them, you know, you can you can smoke marijuana, you can, uh, you don't have to try to uh, rehearse the righteous acts, all these different things that are that contribute to the spirit of being an Israelite, because the scriptures talk about going to the ways of thy fathers. 
Okay, so you can't go into the ways of your fathers if you're making rap videos, if you're doing all these different things. And it's been said before, but it has to be said over and over again because that's the truth. Go into the ways of thy fathers. You're supposed to go into that, that ancient mindset. Okay, and, and don't be comfortable in this world. Even if you have a little bit of substance, we're not comfortable because this is, uh, this is warfare. This is, America is pretty much a prison at this point. You know, certain people, you can, you can come and go as you please, but uh, hey, once once they get their hands on you, you ain't getting out. I'll put it like that. And uh, the people the people caged up on the bottom, everybody knows, black, Native American, and Latino people, which we say Latino, really all of those people who are already here, they could be considered Native American too. Okay, it could be the, the Mexica Indians, it could be the Taino Indians. Uh, those are so-called Latino people, but those are Israelites as well. And uh, I'm going to just jump to the verse that I want. Verse 11, how ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. It says, how? For all the merchant people are cut down. Now look what's going on, uh, what's, what's about to happen now. The, uh, and that's what a lot of these business owners have been talking to me about. This is a tariff that Trump has on China. It says, "What well, Trump's tariffs, latest tariffs, about to hit you where it really hurts." You know, he's done a he's done a one. Look at look at this this damn idiot. Fucking this man is a devil. But anyway, his new newest round of tariffs on two hundred billion dollars worth of Chinese goods adds a new element to the trade war for the first time. Consumer goods are going to be directly hit by the new 10% duty, likely causing an immediate increase in prices for U.S. shoppers. And it's going to, so people, so the cost of all this stuff from China is about to go up. It says it focused on exclusively on industrial goods and intermediate parts, but still, Matter of fact, and I'm going to read some of these things off the list. I'm seeing all kind of things, chemicals, minerals. Of course, they make, China ships a lot of tennis shoes over here. They ship a lot of purses, a lot of those little accessory items that those Chinese people in those sweatshops design and make for cheap. Um, yep, consumer electronics, smartwatches, Bluetooth device. Oh yeah, that's right, phones. All these different thousand dollar phones and shit that they make in China for fifty dollars. All of that is about to stop. Or well, it's about to slow down. Industrial chemicals for manufacturing. So that's gonna hurt America's economy. Certain health and safety products child safety furniture, high chairs, car seats. Mm. Okay, here's the, here's, the, here's the list. You got meat, which you know you shouldn't be eating any, uh, anyway, except uh, venison, that's, uh, that's, that's deer meat. That's the only one that's lawful. You know, intestines, that's pretty much blood. But uh, you got fish, oh yeah, they, China does a lot of fish. They do a lot of fishing. Um, this is all, you know, food, of course, that comes from China. Most of the stuff I know here in the Midwest is mostly local because we're in the middle of, uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of fields, a lot of cornfields, a lot of these different fields and stuff, but other places, you know, they might eat stuff from China. I wouldn't eat the food from China, but uh, anyway, moving on from the non-food stuff, non-food items, let's see, you got various type of tobacco, smoker tobacco, cigars, salt, sodium chloride, sulfur, certain minerals, certain ores, certain mineral fuels and oils, kerosene, uh, certain, a lot of chemicals too. Yep, a lot of chemicals, fertilizer, essential oils, oh, soap, glue, man, plastic, rubber. Ah, oh, man, so, hey, 
pressure. The pressure is about to be put on America, especially on Jake, who's at the bottom. That's the people who's really going to feel this, the people at the bottom. You know, the people with millions of dollars are not really feeling it just yet. But uh, the people on the bottom who, you know, go to the dollar store, because that's, that's like the new boom right now. That's, the, that's uh, who's making all the money. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all these dollar store places, because people are trying to uh, get get the lowest. And uh, I used to work for for them. I could go to their warehouse. They they have contracts with these different companies. They buy in bulk, and uh, then they you know they sell it. Uh, of course, you know they piece it off, and uh, that's how they make the money. They, they buy they buy wholesale. They buy in bulk. But anyway. This is just this. This is why the merchants are going to well, and this is just one, one round, one round of tariffs on two hundred billion dollars worth of goods. And this is what's this is what's coming to America right here, this kind of shit. Because America has two options: either a they're going to lift this tariff and they're going to you know chill out and, 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 and uh, maybe go back into a little bit more cold warfare passive aggressive warfare or they're going they're going to have to make an example out of China and uh, hit them in their pockets and force force them to uh, do business the way that America wants them to do business okay, so just just be on the lookout it's just a quick quick hit quick impromptu hit be on the lookout man and, and be circumspect and uh, this is this is something that it's really going to affect everybody. Like I said, all the different businesses I've been to, I've been to a lot of businesses this week doing deliveries, and uh, all of them are talking about it. Every last one of them. So, and you can read the article yourself. But with that being said, all praise to you. How about you? I was shy. Hope to, hopefully this video was edifying. Uh, Shalom to all the whole field. Like.